What's up, you guys? So I'm here with a new video today, and I'm here to bring you guys an uh, informational video. Uh, this is to talk about, basically, Yu-Gi-Oh! Regionals 101. Now, I'm sure over the years, you guys have seen on many channels, mcole 40 other channels, they've talked about what to expect at a Regionals. I got this request uh, from one of my friends on Facebook, and he just wanted to, you know, for me to make a video about this because he said that they just got about 30 new players in his area, and they're going to be going to the Philadelphia Regionals. Um, I guess that's coming up. And he wanted me to just go over things to expect for any new players. So this video is for anyone who has never been to a regionals before. This is just all the basic information you want to know. I have been to so many regionals over my time in this game that I'm pretty sure I got it down pat by now. Um, so I'm just going to get into it. If this isn't your type of video, please don't dislike the video. I'm doing this just to help out a friend and also to help out new players in this game because I feel that it's really important that new players, you know, come into the game and not only uh, not only go to locals but also play it at uh, bigger events. So regionals, of course, is just a a step below a YCS, but basically you go to regionals to play for your nationals invite. So we'll get into the basics. So you can go to the Yu-Gi-Oh uh, main website to check for regionals. So if you're looking for a specific area, for me, I always look for California because of course I'm from California. But for those of you who are looking for um, regionals in other areas, all you do is you scroll to just pretty much to the most recent date. So Philadelphia, if this is the one they're talking about, is happening on the 10th of December, which I believe is in four or five days. And, um, you know, it gives you the information of where it's going to be, who's hosting it, and which would be alternate universes and where it's going to be located, and also contact information. That's really important because if you have any questions, you know, you can get all your answers there. Now, people ask, well, what do you bring to a regionals? Okay, well, it's pretty basic stuff. I even have my stuff here. So, uh, the main things you bring, I mean, it's pretty, pretty simple stuff. Of course... Bring your deck because, I mean, you're not going to be able to play Yu-Gi-Oh! without your deck unless someone's giving you a deck. Also, bring your mat. I like to keep my cards in better in pristine con condition. I like to, you know, just keep them on the mat just uh, just so they're clean. I got zones to play on. just makes it a lot easier. Other things to bring, uh, calculator and dice. Uh, you need them. Dice usually decides, you know, who goes first. You got your calculator to keep track of your life points. All you really need. That's all your basic Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. And then the last thing would be bring a pen and paper to write down life points because sometimes calculators die and they don't keep track of life. You do not want to lose a game because of, um, you know, not keeping track of life. So those are the main things I would say. Those are your main tools that you bring. Um, additional things are not really necessary as far as in your gameplay. Also bring a trade binder if you're there to do trades. Of course, this is a trading card game, so you would do trades. Um, so that's basically all the ba all the basic stuff you bring. Now the more important stuff. The first thing here is your is your deck list. You can fill out your deck list uh, either online or, or via pen at the event. Now, one thing I've discovered, of course, is that they now have they now have a deck list that you can actually type in. As you guys can see, I can literally just go here and just fill this thing out and literally, like, it'll just do everything for me. So, like, what's so cool is, I mean, well, of course, you guys know I'm playing Minerva. So, like, I literally just put in three rated. It automatically keeps track of the deck right up here. It saves you a lot of time. It's neat. It's orderly. You'll never have any issues. Another really cool thing is they have uh, recently allowed abbreviations. As you guys know, um, decks like Black Wings, Lights Horns, they all have these extensive names that literally just take forever to write and they also sometimes don't even fit on the line provided. So now they're allowing you to do things like this where I can put Raid and Light Sworn or Lila Light Sworn or uh, Gofu Blackwing, BW. You can do all these abbreviations and it makes it a lot easier for um, your deck list, it saves you time, and they already know what you're talking about when you turn in your deck list and your registration sheet, along with your, usually it's $20 to enter, you get five booster packs of usually the latest set, they will just verify your deck list, and you're good to go. The second uh, uh, piece of documentation you want is right here, is your registration sheet. Again, you can fill this out. Uh, online, which I think is just awesome because it just, everything saves time. So when you go to the event, you are turning in not only this registration sheet, but also your deck list. Once you've done that, you pay your fee. Like I said, it's $20 to enter and you get your five packs. You're good to go and you wait till round one is called. Now, what can you expect at a regular regionals round wise? Well, player wise, it's hard to say depending on the area. In California, our regionals usually go a minimum of nine rounds and they've gone as many as 10 rounds and it can be a really long day. I'm talking about a 12 to 15 hour day, no joke. It really can be a long day. It can be exhausting. Uh, you just really have to power through it. Um, depending on, like I said, how big your regional is, that'll be how many rounds you have based on the player turnout. 
and you know you're just playing for your invite they usually do a cut to either I think it's top 48 sometimes it's lower that will get uh, their national invite and with your national invite of course you will fill out the paperwork you will provide a photo ID you will turn it in another thing bring your photo ID uh, because sometimes they ask for it whenever you turn in your deck list just make sure you do not show up without a photo ID because they can turn you away for that I've seen people be in that situation before it sucks but you can do that and uh, yeah, so basically you get your, you fill out your information to go to nationals and you're good to go. Another thing, if you do make the top four, they do give you prizes. They give you a deck box and they give you a mat. This is the latest mat. I don't know if it's changed, but um, this is what you would get for getting into top eight. You would get the mat. Top four, you would get the deck box with the mat. So I think that's just really cool. A little added incentive. Not the best prize support, but it could, you know, it's better than nothing. So yeah, so that's basically basically Regionals 101, you guys. It's just very simple stuff. I feel that, you know, anyone going to Regionals could just take this video and really learn a lot. Very simple stuff. Very straightforward. I highly suggest you visit the deck list and registration sheet links. I'll put them in the description below for you guys. It just will save you a lot of time and make everything look a lot more professional, a lot neater because, you know, anything to just make your first regional experience or an additional regional experience more enjoyable I think is just always better uh, than making it more complicated so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please uh, give it a thumbs up uh, like I said uh, I'll be having more content returning this week I'm just readjusting to things but uh, I really enjoy doing videos like this if there's any other kind of videos you'd like me to do if you'd like me to do one on YCS's they're pretty similar but if you've never been to one and you'd like to know I can do that too since those are two day events whereas regionals one thing I forgot to mention regionals are only one day events you play your rounds there's no day two you just play and that's it which I think is great and you just play for your you just play for your uh, regional, uh, for your nationals invites. So I think it's just a really uh, great thing to go to. You'll really enjoy it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the description below. I'll be sure to get back to you guys. Um, be sure to visit those links if you want to save yourself time filling out your deck list and your registration sheet. I'm telling you, it, you'll just bypass the line and not even have to worry. And it's just amazing. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Good luck to anyone going to any regionals uh, this week weekend. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. And be sure to, uh, I forgot, be sure to add me on Facebook, uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and also add me on Snapchat. I got all that stuff now. So yeah, so I just want friends. I like it. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.